Welcome again. So, CSI net suggestions for microbiology this time. Now, uh, they are not going to ask you more questions from microbiology. They just touch a few questions. So, that's why you can learn it a little bit. You know, when I say microbiology, I mean hardcore part of the microbiology. I know bacteria and viruses. And we are having separate part as virology. We'll be talking about that later. Virology, immunology, those parts. But usually in the hardcore part of the microbiology, you need to understand about the antibiotics and all this is the part which is the most important from this and you're going to get at least one question from this uh, if you'll uh, I mean most of the time they ask questions from this part you know so antibiotic mode of action along with the resistance of bacteria against that antibiotic right especially known antibiotics means all the type of antibiotics like uh, you know cell wall inhibitors cell wall synthesis inhibitors obviously protein synthesis inhibitors nucleic acid inhibitors and all these things and especially along with that you need to learn certain terminologies like MRSA, VRSA these are the strains you need to understand about integrons what are integrons and all this so these are the terminologies including this antibiotics mode of action you need to understand now MRSA you know multi drug resistance staphylococcus aureus okay so this is the part second thing is the some infectious agents and among them, I usually I mean about uh, the bacteria. Very, very important bacteria like this one, Staphylococcus aureus. That is the deadliest bacteria, one of the dangerous bacteria nowadays and causative agent for food poisoning. Along with that, you need to understand uh, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is uh, causing the TB infection and disease, both these cases. So, uh, Mycobacterium as well as Staphylococcus, these are the examples, as well as you can understand about the Salmonella, pathogenic forms of E. coli. I know. And among that part in the pathogenic form of E. coli, you know, E. coli can be distinguished into several types, right? If you want to understand, that's that's the important part. You know, you need to know all the different types of E. coli and what are their functions, what are the disease they cause or they are associated with. That's the important region for this. Third thing is the bacterial toxins. That is very, very important. You know, bacterial toxins uh, including uh, majorly three types, three toxins usually, uh, you know, botulinum toxin which is by Clostridium botulinum and we are having cholera toxin and we are having tetanus toxin these are the three toxins uh, major importance of major importance so the mechanism of action of all these toxins are very very important right and finally you know industrial microbial microbiology because basics you know in this part industrial microbiology this is not that much important but if you want to learn you can learn it you know basics of fermentation technology and the different uh, parts I mean and another thing I forgot to mention from here you need to understand about the bacterial growth that is very very important you know uh, that's so let me write bacterial growth so that part, you know, that growth curve of bacteria and how uh, this growing, how they are growing, uh, how to grow them in the different types of culture like batch culture, fed batch culture, or continuous culture. What are the necessity of using those different cultures? So this is a part also important, and this is kind of relatable with industrial microbiological basics. You know, what are the different products that are being produced by industrial uh, way of microbiology and using microbial technology? Those food. Uh, you know basically food microbiology parts and uh, a little about the coliforms and understanding of the water microbiology a little bit so this is the part from where they are going to give you questions majorly uh, antibiotics mode of action and resistance that is a very very important part so that's it